boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can add measurements using the standard algorithm. So our learning goal for today says, I can add measurements using the standard algorithm. Imagine that. So let's jump in and get started. So here I have a beaker, and this is beaker A, and it has 56 milliliters of liquid. Then I have beaker B that has 27 milliliters of liquid. So I want to model both of these amounts using my place value disks on the place value chart. So here's my place value chart. I have five tens in 56 and I have six ones. Now I want to model 27. Oh, first I'm going to write 56 down below because we're going to use a standard algorithm to be able to solve this also. So here's my place value chart. I have two tens and I have seven ones. So now I'm going to bring down as we're adding my 27 now, when I add these numbers, I want to be able to start in the ones place. You're always starting in the ones place when you're adding and subtracting. As we're going through, I see that in the top there are six ones. So I'm gonna make that a 10 as I go through. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So now I have 10 ones in the top and three ones in the bottom. So that's a total of 13. I can trade in 10 of those ones for a 10 to be able to help me solve this problem a little bit easier. Also, we can rename 13 ones as 1, 10, 3 ones. So I could take all of these guys right here and I could trade them in for a 10. So let's model how we would do that with our standard algorithm. So we have six, ten, or six ones plus seven ones, which we know was 13 ones, and we traded in a 10. So there's the 10 that I traded in for, and there's my three ones that I have left over. Now all I have to do is add what's in the tens place. So five tens plus two tens plus one ten is eight tens. So to add 56 milliliters plus 27 milliliters gives us a sum of 83 milliliters. Make sure that you're always labeling what your unit of measure is as you're going through. You wouldn't someone want someone to think you're measuring um, 56 cats as you're going through instead of 56 milliliters. That'd be pretty crazy, but you never know. Someone might think you're measuring in cats. So always give that unit of measure as you're going through. So again, friends, this is how you use the standard algorithm. So let's take a look at another problem. So here we have 56 plus 29. Make sure, or notice actually, how this problem is written horizontally, side to side. Make sure that when you're using the standard algorithm, you are aligning your numbers up vertically, where the numbers in the ones place line up, the numbers in the tens place line up, and so on. So you're nice and neat as you're rewriting in um, a vertical form to be able to use the standard algorithm. So let's do that first. So we have 56 we have 29, notice how they're lined up nice and neat. The six and the nine are both in the ones place, so they're lined up neatly underneath each other. And the same thing with the tens place in the five, with the five and the two. Now we're going to add those together. But wait, tag year it. It's your guys' turn to go ahead and solve this problem. So pause the video, work on your dry erase board to solve 56 plus 29, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so if you need more time, make sure to click pause. If not, let's talk about how to solve it. So we start in the ones place. We have nine plus six. So nine ones plus six ones, that gives us a total of 15. Now it's too many ones for me to put down in the total at the bottom. So I have to kind of break that apart and say that 15 is made up of one ten and five ones. Now I can go over to my tens place and add five plus two plus one which gives me eight. So five tens plus two tens plus one tens gives you eight tens. So the sum of 56 plus 29 is 85. All right, so great job with that one, friends. Let's take a look at another problem. So here's a word problem for us. Don't let word problems make you nervous. Let's walk through it together. So this says John reads for 74 minutes on Wednesday on Thursday, he reads for 17 more minutes than he read on Wednesday. How many total minutes does John read on Wednesday and Thursday? So 
here's my part of my question that I want to go through. I want to go in through and draw a tape diagram and label what I already know. So I know that John reads for 74 minutes on Wednesday. Then if I look back to my problem, it says on Thursday, he reads for 17 more minutes than he read on Wednesday. So they're not telling me how many minutes he went on, read on Wednesday. So we have to solve for that. So I know that he read 74 minutes, but he read 17 more minutes on Thursday. So now if I have all of that together, that's going to represent Thursday's time that he read. So now I'm going to combine those two numbers to be able to find the sum. So we have 74 plus 17. Tag your it. It's your turn. So go ahead and pause the video, solve this on your dry erase board, and click play when you're ready to go over it together. And remember, you're just solving this one part of 74 plus 17. So go ahead and solve it, and then click play when you're ready. All right, friends. So here's how you solve it. So we start in the ones place. We have seven ones plus four ones which gives us a total of 11 ones. We can't write that down in the total, so we would label that as, or rename it as 11011. Then we go to our tens place, so seven tens plus one ten plus one ten gives us nine tens. And we know that that's minutes. Also friends, what I want you guys to notice is notice here how I put the one down on the line right here, like on our sum line. I want you guys to notice, because probably a lot of times if you talk to other people, maybe even your parents, um, they might put the one up on top of the seven. Well, you can absolutely do that too, but here's something that I've noticed that happens a lot, is when you put it up on top up here, people forget about it. And they're like, oh, their answer's off by one number as they're going through, because they forgot to count that one on top. So a lot of times, if it's right down here where you have to write your answer, you're like, oh yeah, there's that other one that's hanging out right there. Don't forget to add that one. So it helps you to remember. So putting it down on that sum line is much a much better place to be able to keep track of when you're renaming um, your ones as tens and ones, okay? All right, so let's jump back over to our tape diagram. So now on Thursday, we know that he read 91 minutes. So if we go back to our problem, it's asking how many total minutes did John read on Wednesday and Thursday? So now I know how many he read on Wednesday, which is 74. And on Thursday, I know that he read 91. So I'm going to add those together and tag your it again. Go ahead and solve just 74 plus 91 and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, so start in the ones place. 4 plus 1 is 5. Then we go to our tens place. 7 tens plus 9 tens is 16 tens. Now, you're allowed to write 16 down in your answer because there's no digits in our hundreds place for this problem. So as long as there's nothing in the place value to the left, you can put your answer in the total. You don't have to rename anything like we did when we were renaming the ones. Okay? So don't forget again to label as you're going through what you're counting by. So John read for a total of 165 minutes on Wednesday and Thursday. All right, so you guys nailed it. Great job adding using the standard algorithm. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you need any help, please let me know. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.